Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Power Docs, and we're back, of course, with the Docs family. Everyone's favorite family, our own family. We've been through a lot of things. The peasants have been defeated, as they should be. And I have to say, actually, it's, it's weird. This feeling at the moment is kind of weird. I know there's only a few parts left. I mean, literally, there's only, like, five parts left until the end of this series. I know some people obviously be very sad, but personally, I think it's the perfect time. Um, you know, it's been 100 episodes, and I think it'd be nice to lead on to new things. This is an old version of the mod. I want to have the new things, the new versions of the mod. Maybe get a couple of sub-mods in if I can. We'll have to wait and see how I feel about that. Don't usually like to do that just because I feel they get in the way. But also because uh, we've been pretty good at not doing this, but my family has now kind of destroyed... Westeros. I mean, we got a lot of border gore and different families in charge of places and whatnot, um, which uh, we were doing pretty well, I thought, actually, for most of this series. Marriage, you please, sir. But then my son went and became a free city. You crazy, crazy fool, Rupert. He's uh, maimed, though. But yeah, he decided to go for the free cities of the North and the Westerns. I, I, I mean, I, I'm still trying to recover from that whole situation. Um, arbitrating the voice's opinion is a bit flattering, really. Um, chaste, paranoid, gregarious? I'm gregarious. Yeah, I guess I'll like that. Yeah, we'll say we'll like it. But yeah, 71 years old, Norman the Weeder. But yeah, so we've been quite good, I think, of not causing too much of a mess, but now it's just, it's just too much. Trying to fix, like, the North and the Westerlands and other things involved in our, you know, the world that's a bit wrong. That's going to take a lot of time to fix. I think now is actually probably a very good time to end the series. I mean, it does just look a mess. <laughs> and not even... In the, it's getting to that point, like, having a bit of a mess, like, weird things happen, I always like. But there's always that point where it goes a bit too far. And I feel like we're just getting to that point where it's going a bit too far. Like, you know, if, if you're going to have republics in uh, Westeros, have all of them be free cities. That'd be kind of cool. But not just those two. Ancient city of Car. We could try and take the whole thing. Now, her daughter would inherit. Uh, she has no other children. She's 26. I guess we could try and go get Car. But I, I see no reason we need to. Broken Branch. Hard Home. We could try and take Hard Home. That's a good point. Sonder Wolf for Lodge of Woodmere. Interesting choice to go for. Hold another tawny. We do have uh, an extreme amount of money. Ah. A dragon, they say. Lord Jaharis of Dragonstone. So, Jaharis Valerian. Continuing the line of the Valerians taming dragons. He has tamed Raygax. Ah. The son of Fenrian. The dragon I did not like. We were not fond of that dragon. Son of Aestion the Dark Eyes and Valerian... The Black Dread. So yeah, he's actually descended from those original dragons. That's kind of cool. 42 for 52. That's pretty good as well. He must have only had a 5 marshal. He's attractive as well. Good for, good for you. Your son is a craven though. I don't think he's going to be taming many dragons. I would suspect. But yeah. Ah, we don't like dragons. That's not something Mr. King Norwin likes. But uh... Our Lord Commander Daran of Gull Hall, the first man we made upon the King's Guard, has finally passed on. You were a good man, sir. The new Lord Commander must take his position. We've got Garrick Lange. He's a good fighter, but he's a bit of a drunk. Commander Jarmin Gower. Pretty awesome, you know, brave, duelist, formidable fighter. <laughs> um. Meros of Hod I see you've changed your uh, outfit. <laughs> I like that because he's in the free. He's with my son. He's also changed his outfit for some reason. Um, I'm a bit worried if I just show all or delete one again. I'm thinking Jarman. He's 43. And Osbert Bulwer. He's wounded right now. Or Balon of Huston Hill Lunatic. Well, I think we should go for Jarman. Step forward, sir. And we need a new one. Well, of course, we are still powering it, so let's go for one we trust for now. If I can find one that seems pretty good. Andrian of Bayfield? Nah. Pierce Swigert? Nah. 
And Sir Armand. Yeah, they're all okay. I don't know, maybe I should have a tournament to uh, celebrate my my old age, maybe. You know what, let's do it. We have the money right now. Uh, I'll order them to stand down. But until then, we'll have a tournament. Let's find the next Kingsguard member. Grand Tawny. Everyone will see. This will be the greatest tournament. Then, since the last one at least. I cannot end this war. So it looks as though the Durandons, they are not going to end it. Um, I'll have a quick look at the ones that are around. Let's see what knights might appear at our tournament. Tybalt. Okay. Quick. Laurent of Hemblington. Interesting kind of name there. Wendell Reeve. Hmm. Some interesting kind of lower men there. Some sort of lower born men, I mean. Then again, his father. His father was a Bracken. So these are bastards of the Bracken. Oh, I guess he's not really a low born then, is he? And he got the plague. Poor whores. They have the plague. A new great house. I still can't. Just every time I think about my son, it just annoys me. The powerful houses. I'm just having a look at the different ones you could have. Uh, Davin Lidden. He's actually pretty good, but he's wounded. Ah, oh, Banner Tollet. Tollet. That'd be nice. And Runner for Rainwood. Nah. He, I mean, he's got Duelist, but he's wounded at the moment. But we're going to wait for the tournament. This is the time. A tournament in King's Landing. So many tournaments by the Doxes. I mean, we are a, an old merchant family. My son has, I guess, gone, you could say, back to his roots. Don't bother me for now. Here it's a castle of wood. Wood's Watch. Quite a young ruler there. Married to an Umber. Tiger Carnaby has been knighted. Ah, the Carnabies. One of our... Uh, uh, I remember those good old days where we used to just, you know, live in case. It's a good time to reminisce now that we know this is coming to an end soon. We used to just live right here. Morn Hill. You know, uh, Fair Isle. All these old places with old memories. Sarsfield, I remember. We got Oxcross and we got Tendring and ah. Uh, it's good old times. Uh, is Lord Timion of Wiles turned to Jabs with a crowd shock? He stumbles out of the tawny field late and clearly drunk. You, you silly, silly man. Ha! Now there's a man who knows how to celebrate. This is outrageous. I don't think... I mean, our guy is gregarious, so he can get along, but I'm not sure he'll like this. Hmm. Because we are... I guess we're kind of chasing stuff. Uh, some people did make some points. There were a couple of things, decisions I made, which maybe didn't fit in. I actually, They actually convinced me, and I agreed with them. I don't know why. I remember, when I'm playing, it's easy to make a mistake sometimes. But sometimes you just make it because I, I see it the wrong way, or I didn't notice something. I'm just trying to click something and trying to talk and think as well. Um, trying to trying to comment, uh, commentate is not as easy as it looks. Well, I guess you can't see, but it's not as easy as it sounds actually. Um, hmm. I think as my gregariousness, I try not to make a scene out of it. So yeah, we just kind of let it go. I think I think that's how he would feel. Be like, let's just let this, let's let move on. Let's move on. I'm 71. I haven't got time for this shit. Men coming out of tents, drunk. Ooh, Haley's Bolton. Even Haley's the winner. So Haley's got through one of the rounds. Haley's Bolton defeating a lock. There we go. Two Northmen there. Benefitali made it through the round. He took out the Bolton. Oh, only two knights remain. So Benefitali actually won. Huh. Well, there we go. I mean, he's not even that great, but you know what? We'll make him a, a King's Guard member. He won. He deserves it. And he's a Tully, so that's kind of nice. I mean, obviously, they're not that big anymore. But yeah. And he made Riona Tully, the Queen of Love and Beauty, his own family member. She is the... Ah. Well, you know what? He's You know what? We know he's a good man. He's just brave. and <laughs> That's all he is. Like, when you... If anyone met this man, can you imagine that? All this man is, is brave and fashionable. That That's all he knows. But he decided to give his own family member, the one disfigured by grace, so she's probably not the most beautiful. He chose her. That is, that is such a sweet decision. Though she is an adulterer. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I, I thought maybe he was doing it for some really nice reason, but it, it turns... <laughs> it turns out, no, he's just been sleeping with her. That's why he's decided to choose her. Huh. Well, that is, uh, that's a very different reason. Very different reason indeed, but they've been kind of pushed back to Lords of River Run. Actually, I guess when I think about not pushed back, because uh, obviously Aegon conquered, so they didn't have it before Aegon, yeah, um, has been knighted. Well, there we go, Mr. Moore. A good performance indeed. Wow, many people again knighted. Mark Tarley. See, what a grand tournament. Lots of young men who can be future soldiers and knights. Knighted at our tournaments. Think of those times of like Jamie and stuff when he talks about those old tournaments. This is the new generation of, you know, the, the, the new generation of 48 years old. Yeah, he's the new generation. Glorious event. And a new Kingsguard member. The honor of sending my child. Huh. Okay. I I guess I will educate Addison. Hello, Addison. Um yeah, don't listen to your father. Your father's an idiot. Just just do what I say, okay? Oh no, he has gonorrhea and he is maimed. My son. Actually, how did our other grandson turn out? Tian Docks. He's not got his education yet, but 12 Marshall, that's the only thing he's good at. Terrible learning, so he's going to have a terrible... <laughs> he's going to have a terrible education. Okay. Well, that's not good. They've taken this. Not sure that can be tolerated. But to be honest, the Border Gore is absolutely atrocious right now. I don't think it's a big deal. In the employ, Sir Florian... You were once a peasant leader, you're now strong. A very good marshal. I don't need, like, other people. You'd have to be exceptionally good, I think, really, to get on my council. This guy's not looking so great. But you have zero diplomacy. 39. The gardener would be better, but he is the great, he's the plague. Not sure what to bring him to my court. Yeah, we'll leave the Florent for now. Spend time together, gain some bit of prestige there. Ah, yes, he's actually our master of coin. Good, good, good. Uh, Melos was introduced by a mutual friend, began to enjoy ourselves. I wouldn't mind to talking to him some more. Yeah, he's a reachman, yeah, the Grim. Uh, we'll talk to him. I'm gregarious. I'll talk to him. Do we have enough King's Guard? I think maybe we're missing one King's Guard for some reason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we do have enough King's Guard. Who was the one I I didn't notice? There's someone I didn't notice then. Huh, maybe it was this guy, I think. But I'm sure there's one before I didn't notice. But yeah. Usually I like to pick someone who's a trained fighter because he won the tournament. Not sure there's nothing else I could do. Miros Garn has been elected as the new Lord Magister of the City's election. So actually the Garners have been elected to Lorath. That was uh that's very interesting. So we're actually in the politics of that. That's kind of cool to see some Westerosi families in the politics of some of the free cities. Um, let's talk to her some more then. Karen, she's a lunatic. She's married to a Grim. My vassals requested that Lord Courtney Stakely of Kingswood should be sworn to him rather than me directly. Hmm. You want all that land, don't you? I don't know. I'm a bit paranoid about this. I think maybe he's trying to get more power. He has a point. I like my other vassal better. Impress him with vague promises, of course. I can see Norwin doing that. He's a learned man. He's read a lot. He knows things. He can convince anyone. How's your husband? You have one son. He's the heir of the Reach. Uh, he's weak. He got married to a cold water. And he has a bastard son. With who? This low-born theologian girl. Huh. Okay. He's been getting a bit too involved with other people, I guess. Command of the Iron Throne. We need a new commander. Who will be the commander? Captain of the Household Guards. 
Um, let's pick someone for here. Oh, we have no choices. Okay, we won't choose someone for there. King's Justice? Eric Rosby? Let's go for Eric Rosby then. And two more commanders. Uh, obviously Valerian. You know, he has a dragon now. I mean, I don't like dragons, but he's still obviously useful as a leader. Can bizarre positive evidence concerning the Reach? Well, of course you don't bloody like him. See, that's the thing about, like, being paranoid. Like, the thing I don't like about having the trait paranoid when you're trying to roleplay is, do you... Does that mean then you don't trust when someone tells you something? So, for example, if he tells me that other person is doing something bad, does that mean I don't trust what he's saying because I'm paranoid that he's trying to trick me? Or do I become paranoid of that other person because maybe I think, wait, maybe it's true. Or do I get paranoid of both? <laughs> I guess maybe that's what you should do. Yeah, I guess maybe you just get paranoid for both people. That's probably the way it goes. Uh, Rosby girl. Yeah, I'll accept you can marry the Rosby girl. Congratulations on your new marriage. Uh, the reach is out and about. Seal skin point war. What an interesting war. That is this one, yeah? That's lonely light. Which one's seal skin point? That's this one. The reach wants to take that? Seems like an odd place. And there we go. It finally happened. I can't believe it. Norwin actually finally died at the age 72. He died from grievous disfigurement. He never fully recovered from that dragon he fought. But as we all know, he was a true dragon slayer. He's going to be up there with some of the greatest doxes that ever lived, I think. But we now have a new king. Long live the king. Here we have King Leo Dox. Uh, my father obviously has Dragon Bane because, you know, he's still alive. His mame is actually gone, but he is disfigured and scarred. Got his gonorrhea still, which obviously does not help his health. Minus two. That, that's a lot, actually. We have our brother, Tion. Uh, did you get your education? Yeah, incompetent. Not surprised. I kind of expected that. Our other brother was being educated by me, Addison. But he's now gone. What traits do you have? Leo, your wife is a break, so she's quick. Uh, 16, so you have a long time of babies. Uh, she's that horrible, she's not the most attractive girl, I guess. Uh, that scar across there, Veilman. My heir would be Tion. But we are humble. That's an interesting trait to have. Brave, that's good. Deceitful. And maybe greedy. You know what, I, I think Leo could take on a dragon, you know. He he's brave. Though I don't think he would win. He's only a Poor fighter. And he was disfigured by Grayskull, so we're back to the uh, the ugly doxes. Though, you know, he doesn't look... He definitely has... Oh my... He definitely has his father's facial structure. Look at those... Look at that cheeks. Look at those strong cheekbones. He has kind of his face structure, but not his features. I guess he has more of his mother's features, but yeah. Okay. We'll see what type of man he turns... I don't think he's going to be a good king. Your succession has triggered unrest throughout the realm. My rule must stabilize. What is my father doing? Ah, everyone is helping the reach, it looks like. Everyone's helping the reach. What am I to do? Huh, what is this? Shortly after the death of your grandfather, King Norwin, the reader, you have brought a strange piece of news. It seems that his library was raided. The only item stolen being a strange old book of Arabian origin. What is this Arabia? What are, what are people talking about? But yeah, it must be somewhere in the West. It must be somewhere in the West, maybe. Two servants who were in the library at the time were found dead. Though witnesses refused to describe the state of the bodies. Strange. I guess that's because of the old books he read, of course. I'm assuming that's what it is. That's strange. So we no longer have that. Uh, is my heir with me? My heir's not with me, so I can't get him married. You'd like to be legitimized. Your father's the same one as you. I mean, you're favored by Roller. Do I? I guess I'm humble? I guess I don't really care. Yeah, I'm kind of humble. Let's do that then. I'm a nice guy. Um, what is this? The 
Insidious Bravosi traders must be expelled from your lands. If you agree to declare an embargo war on Arca or Bello or Bravos, we will not only join the war on your side, but present you with 200 gold should we fail. Um, hmm. He is greedy. That is a good point. He is greedy, so that money would be very nice for Leo. Um, humble, though, he doesn't really seek glory, but I guess this isn't about glory. This is about money. Um, brave. He'd be okay about fighting. We'll accept. Send the ravens. All hail his grace. Long live the king. We have a lot of things popping up. People will keep to the alliance. Okay, I'll do this first. A famous herald well-versed in the diplomatic protocol has arrived at our court. Okay. Use more men. Another mouth to feed. Um, I'm greedy, I guess. Another mouth to feed might be too much. But I'm humble as well. Again, this isn't really about being humble, is it? No, it's just it's just not about being pride, yeah. It costs too much money. Yeah, that's kind of his main vice. Honor the allegiance. Very nice. So a lot of people are going to join us then. I don't think I even have to raise my men. 24,000 men. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. He doesn't even have to raise his men. Our other men can go deal with this. Request a coronation, I think should be a definite. So let's do that. Buy a knighthood, maybe. I have expressed my wishes and desires for a coronation. Of course he'll accept. That I deem you not yet worthy and just enough as a ruler to be offered my blessing to become crowned as Lord of Seven Kingdoms. Huh. Why can't he ever just say no? Well, that is upsetting. What have I done to him? How dare he? I mean, may maybe I could be better. I'm humble. Maybe I could be better. Maybe I should donate money to them. But I like money, so I can't do that. <laughs> maybe I should take down the faith. Let's get it down to low, yeah. Let's get the... If he's going to be so proud of his own work, we should take him down a peg or two. My father started to do that. We must continue. The old kings, they gave the faith too much power. We gotta take that down a bit. He's getting a bit unruly there. I am the heir. I am the crowned prince. It is my destiny. These are my lands. How dare he not offer them? Just gotta hope my wife gets married. Okay. Don't know why it's popping up for me. Can I now choose a commander of the household guard? It seems to pop up. Yes, I can. Osbert Bulwer, one of my uh, king's guard. Well, there we go. Sounds perfect. And if you have some commanders of the king's guard, that's fine. A lot of claims, which I guess is because we're at the moment in uh, the mega war system. So I won't deal with that just now. I think we're going to do that. We're going to end this part here with this new war beginning against Bravos. Not too concerned. Should be pretty easy. I mean, they do have 20,000 men right here. But I think once my allies get there, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The Veil could yeah, the Veil could take them on. The Veil could do it easily. Look how many he has. Andred Egan. Very powerful lord. And his son Florian. With no kids and married to a 51-year-old who is homosexual. And he is homosexual. I'm not sure you like to, to have kids. Sadly, that boy died. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part.